Guys, did you know that you can work out barefoot? Not just for yoga either, but for weightlifting as well. Working out barefoot is a great way to improve your posture, your balance, and also your strength. Kristen recently worked with celebrity trainer and founder of Built by God, Collins Ezek, to learn more about the benefits and also to learn a few moves. I'm excited to learn some of these workout moves that you're gonna show us because we're doing this barefoot. What is the deal with working out barefoot? What are some of the benefits of it? Well, first, we were born and brought to this planet without any shoes. And for thousands of years, we were able to navigate this planet just fine. And only in the last you know, couple of hundred years, we introduced shoes. And now I think shoes is mostly fashion in the end of the day because we're all trying to look as cool as we can. But what we forget is that our feet have so many sensors um, all the way through our heels, balls of our foot, to our toes. And those sensors are so important in us to be aware of space, where we are, to help us with balance, which is very, very important. And more than that, we need to build strength in those muscles in our foot, feet as well, just because wearing shoes makes them a little lazy. All right, let's check out some of, your, uh, some of the moves you have for us today. All right, so let's get going. First of all, and we have those neck fits, right, <laughs> on our feet. That's just a tiny layer of fabric that sticks to the bottom of our feet to protect ourselves from if there is, let's say, any glass or anything sharp um, on the ground. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really give you that cushion like the shoes do. So whenever you walk um, wearing those things or barefoot, or whenever you exercise, you're gonna engage much more muscles in your lower body and all those small muscles that stabilize your ankle, your um, knees, and your hips. And let's try some exercises and we're gonna see some benefits of actually being barefoot, okay? okay. One of the first exercises that I really like is um, single leg deadlift. So I'm gonna have you balance on one leg. Super important, okay? Good. You're gonna extend it back behind you and you're gonna try to reach down as low as you feel comfortable. Yeah, perfect. And then stand back up tall. Excellent. And you can already feel how your ankle is a little is moving a little bit. Uh, let's do it again, please. Um, the amazing thing is um, our feet, they have hundreds of sensors in them. And by wearing shoes, we kind of disconnect from the earth. So when you don't have um, your shoes on, you have much better awareness of space, um, which is very important. You also constantly work on your balance. Let's switch legs, let's try that on the other side. So you also constantly work on your balance, which is super important for us, especially as we get older. And sometimes we tend to lose balance and fall down, and that causes a lot of injuries, especially for the senior citizens. I'm gonna have you perform a squat, as you're gonna push your hips back down, right? And make sure you're pressing as much of your feet all the way from your toes to your heels into the ground. As you come up, Squeeze your glutes. Once again, we're gonna go down as low as you can. I mean, squat is one of the most basic exercises and one of the best exercises to do without shoes as well. Because as we were born as kids, you know, and babies, we used to walk around and squat down and able to sit like this. Nowadays, this is much more challenging than it used to be for us. I will do a little cardio circuit. So we're gonna start with 10 jumping jacks here. Then we're gonna go to skaters. It's a good balance exercise. Nice, yeah. As you go from side to side, you gotta balance on one leg, then the other. We're also going for just 10 of those. Whew. And I'll give you one more. This is the most advanced one. Please be careful. You're gonna reverse lunge. And as you come up, you're gonna explode into a little hop. That's excellent. I would always say, um, in the beginning, everybody needs to start at their own level, right? Everybody is different. So even working out once a week, first without um, your shoes, might be challenging a little bit and your feet might feel sore just because we're used to the support and the cushion. But as you get um, more uh, advanced and more experienced and more used to it, you would increase, you know, working out two to three to four times a week. And eventually, you know, you'll do all your workouts without shoes but you still have to be careful, of course, especially if you work out in the gym and there are dumbbells and you know, other heavy objects, you wanna make sure you stay careful and um, keep those things away from your toes.
That's what we were saying here too, but that was awesome. Thank you, Kristen. For more information, you can visit Nake Fit on social media and also check out Collins' classes at builtbygod.tv.